Alright, I just want to run through uh, with you the conversion on uh, Shogun's Dodge Challenger. It's a 2013 uh, SRT8 Challenger. Uh, this is actually a full prototype car for us. We've actually prototyped this one uh, from the beginning. We're only days away from completion, but we're just going to show you the progress on the vehicle at the moment. So again, starting from the front of the vehicle, um, front position lights, as you can see the location of them, we've actually managed to locate them behind this actual front shroud, which means that, you know, it, it just, it, it looks really good. Um, it's hidden, the edges of it are hidden, it doesn't protrude past this edge, um, and uh, it meets all the visibility requirements for the ADRs. Uh, the next thing, uh, if we just have a look under the bonnet, we'll have a look at what we've done under the bonnet. Um, we've actually, we've made a whole new wiper scuttle. Um, uh, really challenging job uh, to get this uh, working exactly how it needs to. Now what we've done is we've taken the wiper mechanism and we've literally picked it up and we've moved it to where it needs to be to the right hand side of the vehicle uh, so that we actually get exactly a perfect sweeping position as intended by the original manufacturer and uh, this one here we decided to make a whole new wiper scuttle because it was just uh, too many modifications to the original to make it work uh, so that's why we, we, we went down that road. Now um, what we've done is that we've made a, um, an access point here uh, which is able to remove the original pollen filter located um, for the air conditioning system here. So we've actually given full access to the pollen filter. We've incorporated the original pollen filter holder and uh, you're able to actually remove it out of the vehicle altogether. And you can replace it with a, with a new one. So, that gives you full access to the pollen filter. Um, and as you can see, nice neat fit. New fi it's all fiberglass, fiberglass panel that goes back on top and gets held in with OEM clips. Um, on the other side there, we've got another access point uh, which allows us to have access for the master cylinder. Um, it's, uh, we've utilised the original wipers. Uh, using the original wipers uh, has given us exactly the sweep that we've wanted. We've again had to cut and shut those and re-weld them to get them right. Um, Maintained all the original air conditioning pipes, haven't had to change any of that, that all just fits original. Uh, we're using a 300C Chrysler rack uh, for the steering um, and uh, we have um, one of the other things under the bonnet is that we've created this, um, uh, this wall in here. This is uh, for that air intake, so fresh air intake. So we've, uh, the original used to have an original one on the other side, we've actually recreated this one here. Um, We've also, I don't know if you can see, but at the back you can see a heat proof um, shielding that we've made at the back there. Um, that's a fabric, a heat proof fabric that we've actually attached to the firewall uh, just to provide some more insulation. There was an original manufacturer's one on there. Obviously that's been taken off now and we've replaced it with the, with the new sewn one. All sewn edges and all heat proof. Um, so uh, we've, uh, motor obviously gets removed out of this vehicle because you have to do a modification on the bell housing to remove to uh, put the starter motor on the opposite side of the of the vehicle um, to allow for the steering intermediate shaft to come through so all that's been done while the motor was out we re-sprayed all under the bonnet um, so it's, it's all nicely finished under there so that's uh, that's all under the bonnet taken care of um, yeah really really nice uh, nice finish under the bonnet really happy with the result down the left hand side of the vehicle uh, we're still to, they're still to fit the original mirror to the vehicle. We put an extension on the mirror housing to allow for additional angle on the left-hand side mirror to increase the driver's visibility on the left-hand side of the vehicle. Um, moving on down. Rear indicators on Challenger always been a problem. Um, traditionally, people have put an LED strip light into the bumper bar. It doesn't look right. What we chose to do on this was. We've got a recess in the back bumper just here. We've made these inserts here. These inserts sit flush uh, with the bumper itself and we've mounted the indicator into those there. Um, I'm really happy with the result. It's given a really, really good finish to the vehicle and as good as you're ever going to be able to get or position on the back of one of these vehicles. Having a quick look on the inside of the vehicle. The dash is currently in mould at the moment. So we're five days away from getting a completed dash um, and then ready to tidy it up and put inside of the vehicle. Um, so 
We're still working on the inside of the vehicle at the moment, but that's uh, the heater box has been completely re prototyped. We've made all new parts uh, for the heater box. Uh, really happy with the results on that. It fits really nice. It meets up to the new firewall insert that we've made. Um, obviously, we've made a new insert, new firewall insert for the driver's side as well. Um, that there was, that was a, it posed a little bit of a problem. It's got a lot of curves and angles in it as well. It's not just a straight firewall, but that worked out really well. Um, we've made all this dash padding. As you can see, it's good actually. You can see all the dash padding that we've made. It's all, the old one's been thrown out. We've made a new one, all nice sewn edges everywhere. It's designed to conform and fit to the vehicle really nicely stitch the carpet edges up on it. Um, we will probably end up putting a new carpet insert uh, like we're doing on the Camaros, the same with this vehicle here too, be able to eliminate that original footrest of the vehicle because it just doesn't look good. Just trying to make the vehicles as um, mirror image as possible. Uh, original vents for the rear carpets are being maintained and kept. Uh, the original vent for the back vents uh, is unchanged and original. Um, all in all, the only thing that uh, the electricals have all been changed in this vehicle, no real great problems there, that actually worked out really simply, um, quite simple on the electrics in this vehicle. Um, really, the, uh, we're just waiting now for the dash mould to be finished and uh, we will produce a video on the final results of this car within the next 10 days.